Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new, welcome and if you're a returning subscriber then thank you so much for coming back. Um, I wanted to film this video because I mentioned, well you guys kind of were with me when I was pregnant and then after and kind of like my weight loss and a lot of you guys have been following like my Instagram and I kind of post about my weight loss and a lot of you guys have Ask me like a lot of questions, but I haven't really been able to sit down and answer everybody's questions because I haven't been able to sit down and answer everybody's questions because obviously like on Instagram stories it would take forever. I just want to like kind of, I just kind of want to give the backstory first. So prior to me getting pregnant, I had gained 40 pounds and I was overweight when I conceived. So then I racked up 70 plus pounds when I was pregnant so I was totaling up to 303 pounds which is huge I'm only five feet tall six and a half so <clears throat> it was kind of like I was really I think it really took a toll on me during my pregnancy I was very sick I was very unhealthy I was not taking care of myself um, and in the moment, I kept thinking, like, why am I just getting sick? Why am I being, getting sick? Like, well, obviously because I wasn't eating right, I wasn't taking care of myself, and my body knew it. And on top of, like, my body not taking the right nutrients, I was also um, growing this baby, and the baby took all the nutrients that I did get. Okay, so you guys kind of know. Um, after I had my baby, I quickly contacted um, my friend. Her name is Sarah. She's a registered dietitian, and I quickly started on this product um, line. Um, it's a like health and nutrition um, company. It's called Advocare, and so basically, Advocare just has like um, products to help you lose weight and like all this stuff. You know, they're like metabolic nutrition systems. So I started on that. And I quickly started losing weight. Um, I was one month out and I had already lost 50 pounds. Um, I was taking care of my eating habits. Um, I really set my mind to it, so I quickly lost weight. But then I kind of took it slow. I started adding back some things, you know, like I would have a soda occasionally now and then. Now and then. And then, well, obviously that wasn't good for me. My body started like... Me giving myself that little bit of sugar obviously will impacted it because I was not supposed to, um, what's it called? Having that little bit of sugar obviously impacted me because that was like a little gateway and then I opened up to eating more sugar, you know? So, um, I kind of fell off the bandwagon, but recently I was like, okay, like, I saw this picture of myself, so let me insert it. Okay, that picture literally made me change my mind and I'm like, girl, like, you should not be limiting yourself. You're not even where you want to be. You're not... I am closer than what I was when I um, obviously had just had my baby. I had a big baby too, guys. Um, my baby was 10 pounds, so, yeah. Um, so, so basically, I, like, I lost, like, a total of 65 pounds and I kind of, like, stopped doing the Advocare stuff stopped like caring that much for myself which obviously <clears throat> was not like I kind of was like oh I lost a little bit of weight like okay I'm, I look better because everybody kept saying like oh you look really good well yeah compared to my old self you know but I wasn't done there so I ended up kind of losing more I ended up losing a total of 77 but then I fell off the bandwagon and I gained 15 pounds back so I was devastated guys when I saw the weight uh, like my weight on the scale I was so devastated I was like I worked so hard for this and then I just let myself go and I usually am like that type of person like I either like I'm all in like literally all in or I'm not in it at all like I can't like be halfway in you know I have to like be determined and have my mind set on it for like you know for me to actually do it so then that's when this kind of started so back up <clears throat> <clears throat> okay so basically um, 23 days ago I started I saw that picture that I showed you guys you know let me um, 
so I saw that picture um, because my friend invited said posted this thing like saying like hey like anybody want to go on a hike and I messaged her and I was like yeah dude like I want to go on a hike totally like let's go so we ended up going we took that picture and I really noticed I'm like dang like I have like a mom pooch so bad like like you know the little muffin top like I had it so bad so I was like yeah and I really liked the hike and everything it really inspired me to start working out again so I was like okay you know like I, I want to do this and stuff and that day I kept telling my husband like I really want to play tennis I really want to play tennis um, because we we actually live really close to a park and so at this park they have a volleyball court they have basketball court they have tennis courts they have two actually two tennis courts and then they have like like a soccer area they have a baseball kickball area so yeah like it's really really like nice honestly and it's nice that it's really close like I can literally get there walking so I kept telling my friend like I really want to play tennis because she had told me that she played tennis so I was like let's go get some rackets and we borrowed some from her house and like we I don't we didn't play that first day but we played the next day and that um like that day that I went on a hike I like saw the picture and I felt bad about it but I didn't really like take action in the moment you know because I um even went as far as to ordering a pizza after I went on that hike so yeah I actually have a vlog about it so yeah <laughs> and so then after that I kind of was like in my head I kept thinking like I just want to get out and do something like I'm not happy with my body like I literally every now and then like when I go out I'll wear a faja which is like a waist trainer and I like how I look right so I know my problem area and which is my like stomach and so like why am I not doing anything about it like the waist trainer comes off like you know and so I was kind of upset about it right so I ended up like like having a conversation with myself and I'm like girl you need to like get your shit together like if you really want this then you can do it like I've done I've overcome a lot of things in life like how can I not overcome this you know so so first it all started with my mindset like once I had my mindset I was like okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go all in and I went all in right so then also like this this is kind of like my my four tips actually so mindset is one like once you have it in your mind and you're like thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it it all starts with the mind and then it goes down to the heart and then you execute it and it becomes an action so remember that so like you have to really really want this you know and then the second thing is I always had daily inspiration like for the past 23 days I watch like workout videos I watch I like follow people on Instagram that post post workout videos I have friends that are on a weight loss journey also that want to lose weight you know I post about it and I get so much feedback people are like oh my gosh you're inspiring me oh my gosh like this oh my gosh that and like that really helps me because I know that if I'm breaking through this shell, then I can help somebody else break through it too, you know? Because, and plus putting myself on blast, kind of like, it's kind of mandatory for me now to post about it because I, I told you guys, like, keep me on check, you know? So daily inspiration, I either get it from Instagram, like I follow people that post workout videos or I follow people that, um, that like post on YouTube and, and like fit people that have really nice bodies, you know? So, yeah. So daily inspiration and motivation is really, really important. It's one of the key factors. So then consistency. Consistency trumps intensity. So r literally you have to do this consistently. Like if you say, oh, I want to go to the gym three to four three to four times a week, then do the most. Try to go four times. Like, you know, like do it and like go consistently. And so like once you've already set that habit, like it'll get easier and easier like it doesn't have to be four days like if, if two is like you're working really hard for like if you can only do two then do two you know but make changes because don't expect for you not to make any changes and for your body to change okay so then the next thing is plan right like plan your workouts be like oh i'm gonna do this oh i'm gonna do this you know like plan stuff ahead um, like let's say yesterday I actually had my stepdad's birthday party so I ended up um, working out in the morning and meal prepping because I was like uh-uh like I want to eat really clean today so that 
tonight whenever I go to the party I don't feel guilty once I have a piece uh, of cake once I have like tacos you know so like plan your days like in advance if you know tomorrow's a busy day then meal prep right now girl like you know like get on it if you really want this okay and the most important thing I can tell you guys is know your why why do you want to be healthier why do you want to lose weight like you need to know why first my why is I want to be healthier stronger and I'm trying to look good like I want to look good like I don't want to be like chubby anymore I'm not happy with that anymore like I want to do and look good you know okay also weigh yourself don't weigh yourself um, like too often weigh yourself once a week I would suggest once a week honestly um, or every two weeks you know like eat clean eat healthy there's lots of meal prep videos um, I can actually start doing more of those if you guys really want them weigh yourself every every two weeks I honestly suggest because you um, you're gonna get discouraged if you don't see like weight loss and stuff but you know what I would much rather lose inches than numbers on the scale um, I know I have lost a lot of weight because when I put on my um, well not a lot of weight I know I have lost a lot of inches because once I put on the pants that I was wearing they literally fit me like so good and everything so I'm like wow you know my arms um, they were so chubby guys like like the shirts would be all the way stretched out and now like they fit me a little loose you know and um, yeah like I, oh and also like um, this weekend I was able to wear like um, a two-piece bathing suit and feeling like confident in it because I've been uh, toning my body like literally my um, calf is like already like getting to find like wow like it's honestly been a change and i've only been doing this for well i've been doing this since january but i have been working out um every day in a row for 23 days and it literally has impacted my body a lot like my body has reacted really good to it so yeah weigh yourself once every two weeks and don't get discouraged weigh, uh, measure yourself and yeah so moving on to the next thing you guys also did ask me like what products do I consume? I do um, take Advocare Spark, which I've actually showed it to you guys um, in in the what's in my gym bag. This is what I drink. It's Spark. Um, it's just, it sharpens your mental focus, um, long lasting energy, and it's sugar free, and it tastes really good. So I drink this um, instead of having soda. It only has 15 calories, and um, it gives me energy, so I like this. Um, Another product that I do take is the Advocare Meal Replacement Shake, and um, I actually currently don't have one on me either in the kitchen, but it's a meal replacement shake, and it's just like your typical ordinary meal replacement shake. Um, whenever you do start like l um, watching, uh, like taking care of your eating habits, you do cut back on a lot of things, you know, and you're missing out on those minerals. So um, having a meal, re at least one meal replacement shake a day reduces calories and it also helps you intake those vitamins and minerals that you're missing out on okay so the next thing i take is catalyst um let me show it to you guys i think it's in my car somewhere guys um so yeah i'll just it basically what it does it just um protects your muscles and um your like let's say you were to pull a muscle or something it helps protect it and it also helps um like with it healing so the healing process so that's nice for whenever you're really sore you know you're going to be sore the next day and um you need it you know like you're it won't be as bad as if you didn't take it so i really like catalyst i'll see if i can insert a picture here okay another thing oh okay so yeah <sighs> So I also received a lot of questions as to like items I actually use like physically. Um, I actually always share with you guys this um, water bottle I got on Amazon. I can link it down below. This is half a gallon. They also have gallon ones but um, carrying my baby in a water bottle is like too much so I have the half one. I actually drink um, three of these, two in the morning and then like one during the afternoon part. Um, and then I also have like a Germix on here because I take this when I go play tennis. I take this 
on walks. I take this to the gym. So I, I just think it's nice. Um, I also have a hook for it for my stroller. Um, and yeah, it doesn't fit in the cup thing, you know, but you can buy a hook for it. They're like $3 and it carries it for you. I like it because it, it shows like, um, like it helps you to keep, keep you going. Um, and yeah, and it has a straw. So it's just very convenient. Everybody asked me about it. Um, the link will be down below. You guys did ask me about um, waist trainers and um, like um, fajas or um, you know. I actually have this waistband and this is a sweet sweat waist trimmer. And honestly, I'll show you guys my before and after. And this is after 23 days of wearing it every single time I work out. And the difference is there, literally. Um, yeah, so I really like this. I've actually had this since I was 16. I'm 19 years old now, so I've had this over three years. And yeah, I mean, it's kept up really good. I've washed this. Um, well, it's gotten fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's obviously because of this part, the Velcro. But on the inside, it's like intact. I throw it in the washer, I throw it in the dryer. And it's fine. Um, this one's actually a size large. Um, they, if you're like, if you wear an extra large double X, I recommend the large because it's so stretchy. I wear um, extra large, and this large fits me like perfectly fine. And like, you can adjust it. So like, let's say you get the large, and then you go down to a medium. Like, obviously, you just wrap it more around yourself. But yeah, I will actually also insert how much sweat I produce while I wear this. It helps get my water weight out. Um, so yeah, let me insert that now. So this is me wearing the sweet sweatband. Um, I did have a, a C-section six months ago, so I do have like a mom pooch. But look at all this. Do you guys see it all? Don't judge my belly, guys. Look at all this sweat. I don't know if you guys can see. But literally, it's so nasty. And you throw this in the washer. Um, I've actually had this for... Let me put my pants up. So, my pooch is kind of going away. I do have... I will go ahead and insert how my belly was looking when I first started this 21-day workout thing. Today is day 21. Okay, so something else I wear is um, ankle weights. I think that's how they're, what they're called. Um, I actually have these by Ultra Life, and I will also link these down below. Um, I think these were like $8, and they just wrap around like this, and then they come through here, and then they literally like sit on your ankles. And literally, this has helped build my calves. Calves. I don't know. Um, and build muscle. And honestly, I like these. It it really does um, help, like, tone and get, like, work every part of my body. And when I'm getting just to walk or just to run, um, it helps me do way more. I also use these ankle weights. Um, it really does help me do more. Um, for my body whenever I'm just going for a walk or a run. Um, I really like them. They're cute. They're pink, you know, they're like girly, but also they are very, very helpful and um, I enjoy wearing them. I, I feel like I'm not doing the most whenever I'm going just for a walk and I'm not wearing them. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, um, but um, I really enjoy them. Also with the waist trimmer or waistband, whatever you guys want to call it, sweatband, um, I do wear this um, Sweet Sweat Workout Enhancer. This is the big one. Um, they have like the little one and then this is the big one. It's kind of like a chapstick, literally like a chapstick. Um, don't leave it in your car because it'll melt. Um, but you apply this on your belt abdominal area and then you um, put on the waist um, sweatband and yeah, honestly. It really does make you sweat. Um, I also have, well, those are like the products that I use every day I'm working out, like no matter where I'm working out, 
no matter what. Those I always have. Another thing is that I would like to tell you guys is you guys need to surround yourself with people that are in having the same goals as you guys. Um, like if you're a group of friends, um, maybe just distance them. I'm not saying like don't be their friend anymore. But if like your friends always go out to eat on Wednesdays, then maybe just be like, hey guys, like I'm going to do this. Like don't feel like I'm just not befriending you guys. But um, I, I'm going to be on this weight loss journey. And then I'm sure some of your friends are going to have the same goals as you. And maybe one or two will go to the gym with you. Um, since I've started my weight loss journey, I've actually had friends that message me every day. They're like, dude, did you get your workout in? Yes, I did. And like, you know, like that. But anyways, like I was telling you guys, I know I started teething and she had a fever. And so, um, basically the thing is she had a fever because she's teething. And, um, so I had to get my workout in at home. So guess what I did? I went to my TV. I put on some Zumba from YouTube and I just did Zumba for 30 minutes. And then I also have a jump rope and I have a squat ball. I actually got it at Target. Um, I also got their dumbbells. Like I have the five, five pounds each. And they have really cool um, YouTube videos with dumbbells and stuff. That you can still get a really good workout in at home. So even though that day I know I was really sick. Um, and that she wasn't feeling good. I put her. She had a nap. And I literally worked out for those 45 minutes that I had. Um, I also did... Um, I am, I am, wait up. I am subscribed to FunFit Fab, and they sent me a jump rope for spring, so it just, it comes in handy. Um, I do this to warm up and stuff, so this is really cool. You can change the sizing on here, like, you can make it smaller, make it longer, so this really does help me, um whenever I can't go to the gym and stuff. I Right now that it's summer, I'm trying to enjoy the weather as much as I can. I want to mention, um, I feel like everybody should um, have like their gym bag or um, like their like little equipment that they use to work out. It really gets you in that gym mode or whatever. Um, I actually also um, suggest you to start like buying fitness stuff and um, like stuff like that it will really get you motivated and going um, targeting your goals um, I don't wear headphones when I go to the park because I'm trying to be aware of my surroundings since I do take my daughter with me and um, so I don't wear headphones but at the gym I do I actually have the power beats um, three and yeah um, I suggest those um, another thing oh I actually have some questions that you guys um, Ask me on Instagram, so here. I screenshotted them, so let's see. Any tips to losing fat from the legs and also from the arms? So basically, I pay, uh, I have really chubby arms. Um, they're wide. Um, and that's because I, when I gain weight, I gain it proportionally through my body, so like everywhere. Um, and I play tennis. It literally kills my arm, you guys. Um, they're like worn out so I play tennis that's what I do for my arms I also do do weights at the gym like um, you know I, like I do that one where you pick it up I don't know the accurate terms or whatever but like you pick it up and then you bring it up here and then you bring it up and then like you know that one um, so that's what I do to target my fat from my arms for my legs I do cardio and um, I also do squat Another question is, do you use uh, faja? Is it true that si no te la pones, your skin hangs y más since it's already loose? So basically what it's saying is like, do I wear a waist trainer and if I don't wear it, does your skin get more loose? Honestly, um, you're going to have loose skin, especially like, I know I'm going to have loose skin because of my weight that I told you guys that I was weighing, 303. Like, I don't expect to get to my weight goal and not have any loose skin like that's not the reality of my body like um i feel bad for my body if anything because i stretched it out that much you know so i do not expect my body to not have <laughs> um loose skin so yeah 
but the waist trainer or like that sweatband it helps target like that fat and like it gets like those fat cells warm and going and like um melting and stuff but i don't think it's like to lose weight i think it's just like to target those areas um, and also the waist trainer is different than a waist uh, than a sweatband um, The waist trainer molds you it doesn't necessarily mean you're not gonna have loose skin because you wear it So I hope that answered the question um, another question is um, Meal preps and how do you stay motivated? So I actually have a video of like affordable uh, meal prepping. I'll leave it linked down below um and um, how do you keep yourself motivated? Like I said, I follow people on Instagram that are motivated. My husband encourages me a lot. Like, he knows my goals. Like, if I'm about to open a chocolate bar, he tells me, like, do you really want that? Because, you know, like, we focus on, like, the goals that we want at the moment. But what's your long-term goal? Like, you need to focus on your long-term goal. And then you'll start, like putting yourself on check but really my husband keeps me on check um i follow people on instagram that are um like healthy living a healthy lifestyle i follow uh, people on instagram i mean on youtube and i watch the videos and i also um like i said i took my friends know like my friends and family know that i'm on a weight loss journey so they also keep me on on check and if um if they know how much this means to you then you know they will like help you Let's see. Okay, another question that I got asked was, how much improvement have you seen these last 20 days that you've worked out a lot? So, I honestly feel like I have had so much improvement. Like, I am telling you, I, I'm seeing calf mu muscle. Um, my legs are stronger my endurance um i definitely feel like i can breathe better um you guys have seen some of my videos from the beginning and if you haven't you knew i was pregnant and i was running out of air like i was not breathing good so my i literally see like everybody tells me too like my double chin is gone so i mean that that makes me feel good um so i i see him like like um physical change and i also see like like um mental change like my body's more used to this like um lifestyle than i thought i was i didn't feel like i was gonna adjust to it that quickly but i actually ended up adjusting to it pretty really pretty quickly um i was like every day i was like okay we have to go we have to go work out like is everybody gonna be at the tennis court at seven and like getting everybody on track Sometimes your friends aren't going to be able to go and that's fine, but you have to stay motivated, you know um, Like I said, it's me and my husband. We always go for walks. We go for hikes. We go play tennis We invite other people. Um, I try to surround myself with um, healthy people um, healthy mindsetted people um, Let's see another question that I got is how do you control your cravings and how did how do you do meal replacements? How did you do meal replacements? I think she's trying to say meal prep. Okay, um, so basically, how do I control my cravings? Well, like I said, I think about my long-term goal. And honestly, guys, I feel like I eat what I want most of the time. Like, like I said, I plan my meals, you know? So I'm not thinking like, oh, I can go through the drive-thru right now and just get whatever I want. Um, I plan my days like like I said yesterday was my dad's birthday and I knew I was gonna eat cake so I washed my carbs in the morning and um, for lunch so I could for dinner have a slice of cake um, so I basically plan my days and um, for meal prep like I said I'm gonna make another video about that um, but I'm basically this is how I do it I'm gonna insert a picture of like how I um, set up my plates Okay, so another question I got is, how much weight have you lost during your whole journey? So, like I said, I lost 65. Oh, I got 65, right? But then I, I lost 5 again. And then I ended up losing 4 pounds. And then I ended up losing 3. So, I lost a total of 77 pounds. And then I gained back 15 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So, I ended up losing 77 pounds, right? And then I um, gained back 15 pounds. 
So that had me at 62 pounds. And at the moment, I've lost 7 pounds. So at the moment, I'm sitting at 69 pounds, um, which I still don't feel bad about. I feel like gaining those 15 pounds had me thinking like, wow, I just wasted my time. So like this time, I have to go all in or, or nothing. So yeah. Um, the another thing, another question I was asked was, um, let me see, sorry y'all, I literally have so many questions. Like, um, somebody asked, like, how do you stay motivated, um, like, even on, like, bad days, you know, because I will have bad days and stuff. So, uh, like I said, <laughs> I do, um like think about my long-term goal whenever I go places I'm not saying I'm gonna completely cut out like if I want chocolate girl then I'm gonna have a little piece rather than a big piece but I don't do it all the time because like I said that opens up like a gateway for sugar and then you fall into that habit and then you do it all the time so yeah so um another thing is like I also have been counting the days I've been working out and um I've been keeping track of it because I obviously have an Apple Watch and I have this app on my phone and it's called Activity. Um, it came with the Apple Watch. Um, and so basically, as you guys can see, I have been working out and it kind of shows like, hold on, let me see. It kind of shows um, like the days that I've worked out, how many calories I've burnt. Um, on this 15th day, it doesn't show the full circle my rings weren't close because I actually played um, water basketball and I obviously didn't want to take my watch to the um, pool I think it's waterproof but um, I didn't want to take my watch to the pool or my phone or anything so yeah but that day I did play water basketball um, and that's how I keep track of it I see my calories I'm like okay putting it on workout mode checking my steps like I'm keeping myself on track um, and I'm also like keeping count of my calories. I do use my fitness pal and I really like it um, And yeah, so <sighs> It's so nice that you guys are wanting to join me on this journey um, I'm also thinking about doing like challenges probably like next month. I'm probably gonna let you guys know on my Instagram um, Like everybody joins this weight loss competition like for 30 days, right? So like from June July 1st through August 1st um, everybody that wants to join the weight loss competition can pay five dollars up front um, and the winner takes um, the money so you know it's gonna be awesome like it's only five dollars and that helps keep you motivated and since it is cheap I'm sure a lot of people are gonna want to do it I've had so many messages so yeah that is something that I want to do so I will let you guys know if I end up doing that you guys can actually follow me on my Instagram if you guys want um, to join that um, but yeah, I am so happy that you guys wanted to join me on this weight loss journey. I know like I've made you guys go through everything like my whole pregnancy, my weight loss and all this stuff. So yeah, and if you guys live in the area and you guys know me personally and you guys need a workout buddy, just let me know. I'm like always willing to work out. Um, I really want this for myself. Like I said, I've been hitting small goals and that keeps me happy. So yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm so happy that our little family is growing here on YouTube. Um, I didn't even think one person would subscribe to me. <laughs> That's so um, negative. But yeah, I was like scared to even post a video. I actually started uh, my YouTube channel in ninth grade and then I deleted the videos. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm so thankful for you guys and for everybody that keeps sending me messages. That keeps me encouraged for sure. Um, so yeah, if any of your friends need to hear this, um, please share my video with them. Um, I will be having everything linked down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.